We have tours going on all around the world. Ukraine's a little bit difficult right now because of that political situation going on there. And hopefully that's going to come to an end at some point here and we can feel safe then about bringing groups of guys over there at once and holding these large social events like we have done in the past. But until we feel comfortable about it, then you know, we're just not going to do that. I'd like to meet someone from the Ukraine just to talk to them. Okay. Okay. Call to Anna. Call to Dina. They will arrange Skype call with you for you with the ladies, and you can talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Yeah. It's very easy. You don't have to write tons of letters, like five years letters. Just call and ask if this lady will be interested in me. The girls will send your information, your profile information, to the lady. They will check if a lady is interested to talk to you, and they will arrange video call for you. And the same gentleman's asking, can you just chat with a few people from there before you decide to go? Of course. Of course you can chat with people. Of course, and um, I recommend with the Skype actually. Call, probably, I recommend, right? yeah, I would, right now, because you used to, we had only this option for executive clients. Mm -hmm. And because of the COVID, we started uh, to do video um, calls for regular clients. And you pushing for it. Yes. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and I think it's great that no. we're doing that now. So we do lots and lots of Skypes all the time. And if you're going to go halfway, over, about halfway around the world to visit someone, it's a good idea to do a Skype call first. It's well yeah. worth it because you might see, oh, well, maybe we're not going to be such a good fit. Maybe I shouldn't go halfway around the world to see. Although you shouldn't be doing that just to see one person anyway. You should be going to meet multiple okay. people. Okay. Julian wants to know when will tours to Eastern Europe start again? Well, if it's up to Anna, it'd be next month. But um, <laughs> she's like, yeah, come on, John, we can do this. Yeah. Look, guys, you know, we have to be reasonable here. There's a war going on over there and, you know, I, more than anyone, would love to start doing the tours again to the Ukraine because I, I think it's great to give the men and the women the opportunity to meet. That's what we're all about and we're doing it all over the world in China. We just did a tour in China here a couple weeks ago and, and in Colombia we just did one there and we have tours going on all around the world. Ukraine's a little bit difficult right now because of that political situation going on there. And hopefully that's going to come to an end at some point here and we can feel safe then about bringing groups of guys over there at once and holding these large social events like we have done in the past. But until we feel comfortable about it, then you know, we're just not going to do that. Um, so again, Anna just talked about how you can go over and meet individually if that's what you want yes, to do. Yes, you still can do the club tour. And we have guys doing clubs, yes. yeah. yeah. So you can go there. The club, tell them what the club is and how that works. The club tour works usually, uh, we work with you right now, you know, because we don't have many clients in the city, so you will be, you will have uh, service, you know, you will have our support all the time. Uh, you can meet up to 21 ladies during the seven days. You can have seven day or 14 day club. Um, and uh, before you will send us the list, we will check the ladies um, who wants to meet you or not. You can have up to three dates a day and um, again you will have our support 24-7 uh, there. Okay, you know you just go by that, you, you say that so fast, but you know oh, yeah, you can have up to three dates a day. Guys, three dates a day and seven days, that's just hard to do, okay? Very I mean, hard to do for Hard clients. to do for you. I mean yes. we can do it. You know we can arrange it. That's not that much of a problem for us, but for you to do three dates a day you gotta be in in really lean, mean dating shape, right? You gotta be ready to go for that. It's, you gotta be on your game because when you go out on a date, you're going on a date. You need yes. to impress, you need to talk to this woman, and then when that's done, you've got about maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours at the most, and you're on another date. And now you're out in all this new energy, and then you got another date, and then all this new energy. Yeah, and then in three days you come into my office like, Anna, please cancel half of my dates, I can't do that anymore. I don't remember whom I dated yesterday. No. So, so We get a lot yeah. of guys that their eyes are way bigger than their capacity to date. So if you're gonna set up all these dates, make sure you go. Sometimes we'll get guys that will set up these dates, you know, like a 12 o'clock, a three o'clock, a six o'clock, and then they go down there at three o'clock and it's going so well that they don't want to cancel it. And so they just kind of blow off the other one, right? And they'll yes, and then, uh, and then he's telling me next day, and I'm really sorry, but the girl was so nice. <laughs> and she told me that she already called you and canceled. I was like, the girl called me and canceled. 
yes, yes, the girl said that they're gonna fix it and I can spend with her all evening. I was like, okay, next time please call me. Yeah, all right. from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Interested? Learn more at PoltavaWomen.com